second half, like you had a chance to see. It's hard to spend a bye week. You know, you want, do you want to get right back at it, or, 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 is, it, or is it better to take some time to look at what happens? You know, I'm not exactly sure what scenario would have been better, but it was good to uh, take the second half that we had from Washington State, digest it, think about it, and uh, just really try to do everything we can throughout that bye week to not let that happen again. So I think it was good to just kind of fester on that feeling and just, I don't know, it's just letting it, that sink in. It's, it's not something we want to have happen again, ever. So. I guess, I guess in a sense, there's no chance there's going to be any complacency is there after. No, I think not that. No, no, I don't think so. Yeah. What, what do you what do you think? How, how do you feel like the defense has played over the first six games? You know, I think we've done well. I think that obviously there's always areas to improve on, uh, like there is in every defense, and like we've had successes and uh, some weaknesses in every game. But those are things that we're just trying to focus on, and uh, you know, just clean up week to week to just get better week to week so uh, I mean overall I think you know we're optimistic about where we're at but it's definitely not comfortable where, where we're at we're always trying to get better so. can you talk about just kind of the intense film study you guys had last week and just kind of what's what are the goals with defense in kind of the second half of the season yeah definitely um, you know having a bye week we had a, another opportunity I mean a real opportunity to study like you said film study and just look at Utah um, I mean it was fun just to have a Saturday where you could just watch the games. So obviously I took the time to watch the games, but uh, yeah, just the increased intensity of, um, you know, this is the biggest game of the year so far. Like we treat every game, but uh, yeah, we're just looking forward to having people back in research and making a, you know, try to play our best out there and have this game be the best game we've played. With the run defense in particular, how rewarding has it been to see the improvement that you guys have shown this year as opposed to? Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun just to see uh, kind of each position uh, do well in, in the run defense, whether that's, you know, from corner to my position to D-line. I just feel like as a whole, uh, it's been fun to watch just kind of everyone come together and uh, perform better in the run. So. What is your biggest takeaway from this first half of the season? I mean, this team obviously has been more successful than years past, and you've been a part of Oregon State for a few years now. What makes this team so special going forward? Uh, you know, I just think we have – there's a lot of players on our team that have been in this process a while, and there's a lot of us that, you know, we've been around Coach Smith and his coaches a long time and just developing in the culture that we're trying to develop. And uh, it's, it's just allowed us to grow, and it's allowed us to get closer, and it's allowed us to – you know, feed off of each other and know, you know, just who you're playing with. And so, yeah, it's definitely special. I definitely feel like the team I have is a brotherhood for sure. And that just, I mean, that's the, that's the best thing to play with. So, From that film study you talked about, what stands out to you about Cameron Rising and what he's done the past three weeks? Yeah, I think um, I, he just has a lot of momentum uh, and he's a really good player. And uh, I think he's been able to uh, pick Utah and, you know, just help uplift them to, uh, you know, accelerate their offense where I think that they want it to be. But, yeah, and watching him, he's, he's a very dynamic, uh, good player. And so, I mean, looking for the opportunity to get to play him this week would be fun. First home game in a couple of weeks. Do you cherish home games more just with what happened last year? I do. Yeah, it's fun to have family. And, uh, I mean, my sweet wife wasn't even able to come to any games last year. So, you know, it's fun having her in the stands. But... Yeah, it's it's just the atmosphere and having your nation, it's the best. So.